Hello, and welcome to this short chat. Five ways to help raise your vibration. Number one is self-awareness of your thoughts. What are you repeating, telling yourself? What is your inner dialogue? What are you reaffirming to yourself? Is it positive? Is it encouraging? Is it nurturing? Is it accepting? Would it be what you would tell a loved one? Would it be what you would like to tell your inner child? If not, I suggest reframing what you're telling yourself. Tell it in a more positive way. If you need help with this, please reach out to me. Number two is be self-aware of your physical body. Our posture, the way we carry ourselves, very much relates to what's going on within us, with our thoughts, with our self-beliefs. So if you're carrying any tension, any stress, it's really good if you can be self-aware of it and make little changes to help release it. Now, whether that's meditation and releasing on the exhale, it might be some exercise, it might be creativity, it might be just a, an adjustment of your posture as well so that you can intentionally feel more positive. Number three is gratitude. <laughs> gratitude, gratitude. It's a great way to start your day. Just bringing to mind two things that you're grateful for in the morning. Maybe scatter gratitude throughout your day. Maybe when you have a cup of tea, you have coffee, maybe each time you wash your hands. Possibly close the day out with gratitude as well. Now that can be bringing to mind two things that you're grateful for. Maybe as you drift off to sleep, bringing gratitude in. It can also be that you might want to journal, just write a few words, just acknowledge it. This is what I'm grateful for today. It would be a really good practice to do it for seven days, even better, 21 days. And see how your vibration shifts. See how your energy shifts. See how your mindset, the, the way that you approach yourself and the world can change around people, places, things when you bring more gratitude in. Number four is connect with nature. Now, whether that's from inside or going outside. So if you're outside, many different ways to connect with nature, whether you're walking, whether you're sitting, appreciating the environment around you, whether it be the, the garden, the trees, the clouds, the ocean, the river. If you're inside, even if you're in, in your office, whether there's a window you can look out of and just bring a little moment of nature into your physical space. But also through visualisation is great. So you don't have to be at the ocean, but you can visualise that you are there, having the intention that that's what your focus will be on can be just for a minute. And it, you can bring your senses in, bring your five senses in. What would it feel like? What would it smell like? The smell of, it could be sea breeze. What can you hear? It could be bird song. It could be the sound of the waves. It could be observation, just in your visualisation, observing the flight of an imaginary bird. I did a visualisation with a client the other day and she was standing on the top of a mountain. This wonderful sense of achievement and what was her future going to hold was quite expansive for her. It really raised her vibration, raised her spirits when she felt that she had achieved this challenge and now visualising that she was on the top of the mountain and 360 degrees, where can I go, what can I do? I've achieved this, now, now what? And number five is... Returning to and remaining in the present moment, whether that be 
meditation, whether it's through mindfulness. Essentially, it's focusing on your breath. So if you would like any support or guidance, tips and tools on ways to raise your vibration, because there are at least another five ways, reach out and um, possibly for a discovery call as well. So 15 minute free call just to see how I might be able to help you raise your vibration. Thank you. Bye.